My grandfather, uh, he bought it from a couple of fellows back in about 1914. And then about 1932, my grandfather moved up to the corner here, and we've been here ever since. So New Market Hardware isn't new anymore, but as hardware stores go, it is an institution. Before it moved to its current site at Sarah and Laclede in the Central West End, it was located just a block east where the post office is today. Gene Schneider's the boss. He's 84 years old and a third generation hardware man. He started working here as a teenager during the Depression, went to war, and came back home in 46. His philosophy? Get his customers what they want and make it snappy. Okay, hold on to that for me. We are fast. I'm embarrassed to tell you how fast we are and how much we know. Steve, my son, he, he's faster than I am. <laughs> we have something in just about every square foot of the store. Um, you want to have the common items. In our case, we have as well the less common items. I would say we have the downright oddball items. But, uh, but as a result, you have to find a place to put everything, and that's why we try to make use of all the space we have in the store. <laughs> there are a lot of drawers in this place. Oh, this is not all of them. <laughs> you know what's in all of them? <laughs> no, we have stock upstairs. We don't even know where half our stock is, truthfully. <laughs> but it's, uh, but it, uh, well, you, you tell us what you want and we'll, we'll eventually find it. <laughs> Some of these drawers have been up there a long time. They're pretty old. They're pretty heavy. You got old gauges in these things here. You find just about anything you want in these drawers. Our motto is if it's hardware, we've got it. And I've added to it if we haven't got it, we'll get it. And if we can't get it, you didn't need it. Vivian Leslie is one of the more recent hires at New Market. She's only been there 30 years. We were short two items. Helen so Slack is the matriarch. She started in 1942 a, when she was 17 years old. It's been my life for 60, 64 years. It's definitely been my life. And I really have been tempted over oh, the last two or three years to really call it quits. But then my doctor said I shouldn't. said I had been working at a pace that many years. He said, if I go home and do nothing and have not think about anything, said, I won't last long. That's what he told me, frankly. So then I changed my mind. <laughs> I said, I'll just work as long as I possibly can. On Helen's 50th anniversary, I wrote this poem for her. You were just a lovely teenage girl when you joined our working force, and through the years you have been the steady hand to keep us on our course. You've seen the economy ebb and flow, and the changes of many presidents, too. You've seen the workers here come and go, but you've stuck it out and made it through. For 50 na years now, you've graced this place with your beauty, charm, and knowledge, and no one could have done a better job with a Ph.D. from college. So we, the crew of New Market, say thanks and want to help you celebrate. This milestone in your illustrious career, for we love you and think you're first rate. Throughout the store, there are tributes to Dutch Schneider, Gene's father. Though he passed on some years ago, Dutch is still a neighborhood legend. When he wasn't busy running the hardware store, he was deputy athletic commissioner for the state of Missouri. Dutch was a soccer star in the 1920s, but his career on the field took a detour. He played soccer with the different Catholic parishes and had a reputation as a very rough, I would have to say ruthless competitor. In fact, he received a 13-year suspension for uh, just too rough a play in soccer, which as we know is not easy to do. In Dutch's day, it was a neighborhood of saloons and factories. Today it's more upscale. The factories have been converted to lofts. The working man's bar is replaced by coffee shops and popular restaurants. What hasn't changed is this corner hardware store. Where you can still get a key made, buy a better mousetrap, or maybe even something a little less practical. 
<laughs> this is our 100 year old table saw. We use it every day to cut our lumber, plastic, whatever we need to cut to size. Um, a couple months ago, it wasn't working right and we thought we might have to retire it. But a customer came in and, and said, no, you just have to make a little adjustment here or there and next thing we know, it's back in operation. Get another hundred years out of it, huh? I, I don't know why we couldn't. When you want to bring the blade out for your cutting, you just crank it up to the desired height. It's a little noisy. After almost a century of selling screws and glue, nails, tape, and a thousand other items that hold daily life together, you get good at figuring out what people need and the best way to get it for them. Our people are so knowledgeable that if you, we know what you want immediately, we'll get it for you because we're interested in you. You want a sack of cement from us? It might be a quarter more, but we'll put it in your car in ten minutes. And we're not afraid to work. <laughs>